Ah, uh, hello again, gentlemen. Uh, looks like I need to clean the bench, but um, I got the VTVM working right. Ohm's readings are working as they should, and uh, I put my extra ports here in the front. Replaced that one uh, quarter-inch phono jack that was in there. Here on the bottom, you can see. Um, I've got the uh, the BNC port and the uh, the inner uh, positive uh, port hooked up to the meter as normal, the same as the quarter inch one was. But um, I stuck a one meg resistor uh, in between this one so we can take DC measurements with regular probes instead of having to use the special Heathkit probe. I assume that the reason that they put that big resistor in the um, in the Heathkit probe was for probing high voltage shit. Um, that's my guess anyway, um, but uh, as if we need to measure like super high voltages, we can just go back to this port and um, use the Heathkit probe, right? So um, the problem with the Ohm's measurement ended up being this, uh, this uh, what is it, L an LM317 uh, voltage regulator unit. Um, it, uh, there was some, some, some impedance in the ground somewhere at first, and I think the, 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 the diode, see there's a, there was a rectifier diode and a, and a smoothing capacitor attached to the input port on this thing, and the, and the diode had gone short circuit for some reason. I don't know if it was like that to begin with, or whether I fucked it up as it, when I was installing it, but um, I went ahead and I installed another, uh, it's a 2N, in, 1N4007 in uh, rectifier diode, and I just, um, I desoldered the, uh, one of the um, transformer secondary wires and just stuck the uh, negative side of the uh, diode down through the hole with that wire and soldered it in there, and then I've got this uh, 1000 microfarad um, filter capacitor um, soldered onto that. Uh, grounded to the um, to the uh, to the light socket uh, negative side there. Uh, it's an um, AC light, but the uh, the grounds are all tied together. Um, a little funny, but anyway. Uh, and then I've got my um, this this will give us like uh, seven volts DC or something, and I've got it coming over here into the um, into that LM317 module, and it's, it's working fine. I had to adjust it, of course, to supply 1.5 volts, and it's, I've got it, uh, it's, it's a little twitchy. Mr. Beefy wants to look here, too. Don't get too close, bud. It's still plugged in. Um, I had to adjust it, and I got it real close to 1.5 volts, like 1.507 or something like that. It's a little twitchy when you get that close, but it's, it seems to be working fine. Seems to be measuring almost very accurately, so, um, I'm going to call this done and put it back together. It turns out those two capacitors that I took out both test fine on the low voltage capacitor tester. Now these is, this is a 1600 volt capacitor and this is a 450 volt capacitor. Um, no, 150 volt capacitor. So neither of them were tested near their breakdown voltage. So. Um, I'm going to get the old high voltage capacitor tester out and check these at high voltage and see see if the leakage goes up at higher voltage because I'll bet you I'll bet you they test fine on the Chinesium uh, ESR meter but will break down at higher voltage. I'll bet you a dollar. Alright, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for joining me. See you later.